Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to start the third place game at the South St. Paul Kaposia Classic. It's pitting our own South St. Paul Packers against the Woodbury Royals. There's the starting lineups. You got Kegley, Jeffrey, Banker, Kennedy, Dibsetter. And Erickson are out there. I think that was Taylor they announced. So that's our starting lineup. And uh, this, again, this is the third place game. I don't. I have not uploaded the last game, so I'm, I know you haven't seen. Well, you might have watched it by the time you watch this one, but it's a hard-fought battle against Egan. South St. Paul outshot him. Had probably at least a dozen more awesome scoring opportunities than Egan had, but we just couldn't get it by the goaltender. We ended up losing 2-0. It was a heartbreaker. But now we have this third place game against Woodbury. And this is gonna be this is gonna be even a tougher game, I have a feeling. We have uh, Woodbury who's got a great program and I know they're I think they're skating uh a varsity line out there against the JV or a swing line or something. I think they need the players, so they're gonna they're gonna do that. So it's gonna be a tough battle for our for our girls. Let's see how we skate. If we come out, skate hard, um, be aggressive. I like our chances. We know Molly's gonna play solid in net, so let's see what we can do. I'm on the far end again of the arena, so we'll we'll do our best to zoom in and out uh, once in a while to try to get you closer to the far end but it's going to be hard to do it um see here so i'll try to tell you what's going on as best i can especially in that far end woodbury right away gets the draw they're going to throw it in the south st paul zone oh and that's icing good for the pack so right away we'll get a draw in the woodbury defensive zone see what we can do still got that line of Kegley Erickson and Dibsetter out there again with Banker and Kennedy and D Justin Paul has it at the point they let it fly Ooh, goalie made a pad save Kegley was there I thought maybe she was going to get a rebound opportunity but rebound came off a little fast and wide now a little centering attempt by Dibsetter that didn't connect with anybody, and Woodbury comes right back. Jeffrey comes out to play the puck like she normally does. Sometimes she's a skater out there. There's a shot that gets blocked by Erickson. Kennedy with a poke check off the stick. That shot point blank, the high slot. Molly sees it the whole way, covers it up, and we'll get a face off to the left of Molly Jeffrey. Wholesale change for the pack. We now got uh, Sid Thompson and Liberty Felton as a defensive pairing along with Simons. Uh, looks like Maurer and Baroni. Nice rink wide pass over for Simons. South St. Paul just trying to get out of their zone. They couldn't there. Good poke check by Sid Thompson. She'll take the puck up. Gets it across the blue line. Felton has it, surveys the situation, tosses it over to Baroni. Baroni throws it deep. She's gonna go off for a change with her line mates. In fact, four of them are coming off. Felton stayed out and disrupted that pass to slow him down a little bit. Centering attempt, gets deflected by Erickson. Now Erickson tries to go high off the glass, chip it out, but it doesn't get that far. 
Ooh, almost a rebound opportunity for Woodbury. We have a penalty, something's happening. It looks like it's gonna be a penalty on South St. Paul. We've got a trip coming up. So with 12, 16 remaining in this first period, we're gonna see our first power play and it's gonna be the Woodbury Royals. We'll see the Packer PK. Looks like they're gonna start with Kennedy, Banker, Buckmaster, and Baroni. Erickson goes off for tripping. They win the draw, they fire a wrister. Jeffrey has it, oh, and that rebound gets shot wide. South St. Paul does get it up and out. Is Baroni gonna get an opportunity? She might. Gets through the net, oh. Got through to the net okay, but the puck must have slid off her stick. And then Baroni almost gets another opportunity to throw one on the net. Uh-oh, they snuck behind our defense. Kennedy, good back check. Jeffrey with a big save. Molly Jeffrey, great save on that breakaway opportunity. There's another shot, Jeffrey makes a save. So St. Paul's gotta get the puck and ice it here. Let's get someone behind the net. Let's go, ladies. Jeffrey holds on to it, we'll get another draw. We've got 58 seconds remaining in this first power play for Woodbury. We'll change up the PK unit for South St. Paul. Looks like we're gonna have Thompson, Felton, Jeffrey, and Simons. Thompson gets taken down hard into the boards. I think it was incidental, but. Puck comes out. Good work by the pack. We've got 30 seconds remaining in this power play. Jeffrey's putting on some four check pressure. Good job by Kieran Jeffrey. She steals the puck, tries to make her way to the net. Oh, and she gets hooked. Slowed down, no penalty. Step up, step up. Felton over to Thompson. Thompson throws it down and that's gonna just about do it for that power play. So South St. Paul successfully kills off this first penalty. 10 minutes remaining in the first period. Again, this is the third place contest between Woodbury and South St. Paul. Let it go. Oh. Oh, nice pass by Jeffrey up to Thompson. Couldn't handle it off the boards. She's gonna come back and get it. Trying to keep the player from getting to the net. She does, nice work. Forced him wide. Felton picks it up. A little nifty move, tried to chip it up and out of the zone. Girls, when you get an opportunity, you gotta chip it up and out. This is what happens when you don't. Come on, shoot. South St. Paul with a couple chances to chip it out of the zone and they didn't do it. All right, I have to do something. I'm gonna leave you guys with the full angle there for a minute. Be back. I'll be back. As Arnold says.
Is this, that's not enough over the top? Have her just do it. Just have her just come up there over the, just a little bit. Okay. I would. Mean, just tell her you need just a little bit more to finish it off. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Don't have it do it too tight. Just lay it on there. Good luck. Okay, I'm back, and it looks like I missed a goal. Didn't see how they scored that, and I think I heard a pipe too. So they not only did they score a goal, but they hit a pipe while I was gone. Good job, whoever that was on defense right there. Good job by Erickson. Simons has it on the wing. She tosses it around the Woodbury defenseman and now South St. Paul's got to get on the four check. Got a turn. Good job by South St. Paul getting back. Good job, Molly Jeffrey.
Sounds good, thanks. Bye. So it's still 2-0 in favor of Woodbury. They've been controlling the puck a little bit better. They've had more puck possession than South St. Paul. Molly Jeffrey playing pretty solid in net so far. Bankers tying up the girl in the far corner. Good stick work by Kennedy. Banker's got the puck coming out of the zone. Erickson steps in. She tries to toss it down the length of the ice. That hits traffic. The Woodbury player splits the defense, gets a shot off, but that goes wide. South St. Paul right now looking like they're just happy to get it out of the zone. Doesn't look like they're trying to break out of the zone. Good interception by Baroni. Baroni's going to get on the net. She's on her forehand. Good job, Addie Baroni, getting the puck down to the other end. Got a decent shot off, but had to switch from the backhand to the forehand. Simon's coming in off the bench. Battle for it in the far corner. Can't really see very well. I don't know what's happening. Puck comes out in the neutral zone. Felton gathers it in. Throws it off the boards. Nice little chip pass for Kegley. There's a shot. Jeffrey makes the save. Simons turns the rebound around. But again, she just gives it away into the neutral zone. Good job, Felton, interrupt, or disrupting that pass. Got her stick in the passing lane. Whoa, and three Woodbury players go down. It's South St. Paul, too bad they didn't have a little bit better odds down there. They might have had a two, three on one, but. Felton, the lone defenseman. Good back check by Buckmaster. And that's the end of the first period, so we're gonna end 2-0. I do not think we'll be doing ice right now, so.
right, we're back. Sorry about that. Start of the second period. Woodbury changing out some. Looks like some Barb City players, a couple left, and other ones coming in. Mm, three more coming in. So they're swapping out lines. South St. Paul, there's a shot. The rebound's sitting there, and we had Kegley and Erickson both crashing the net. Couldn't quite get there in time. Good hustle by the pack. Be nice to put a quick one up on the board here in this period. Al St. Paul finds themselves down two zip going into this second period. Good job by Thompson down there on defense. Mauer gets the puck in deep. There's a battle in this near corner for it. Simons comes in. Good interception by Baroni. Baroni has the puck. Comes out of the zone. South St. Paul's gonna have to touch up. That's icing, so we'll stay right down here. So we're gonna get another face off in the Woodbury defensive zone. Face off to the left of the Woodbury goaltender. As Erickson on the draw. Good shot. Saved by Jeffrey on that quasi breakaway. Oh, and there's a trip. South St. Paul is going to be on the power play again. So we're gonna come down here. Golden opportunity for the Packers to get on the board here. Okay, in case you're just joining us, this is the rebroadcast of the third place game between South St. Paul and Woodbury in the Kaposia Classic Tournament. This is day three. Good job by Molly Jeffrey playing the puck out of the zone. Comes right back in though. Banker's gonna go get it. Buckmaster overskates the puck. That gives Woodbury a chance to throw it back in the zone. Banker's battling in the near corner. Well, in the far corner, I guess, but the far near corner. Here comes Helsin Paul. Nice headman pass up ahead. Good catch by Erickson. Erickson's going to look at the net. There's a shot on net. Nobody crashing. No, they were out in front of the rest of the team. There it is. Baroni threw it at the, no, oh, that's Dibsetter. Dibsetter threw it at the net, went and got her own rebound. Good back check by Dibsetter, able to keep the puck in the zone. Then Kegley grabs the puck and throws it down in. She's on the four check. How'd they get a girl way out there? They're on the penalty kill and they had a girl sitting out at our blue line. Maybe she just got off the bench or something. I don't know, that was weird. So we got a face off in the South St. Paul defensive zone. Again, we're on the power play. You can see the scoreboard down there, hopefully. We got 38 seconds remaining in the power play. Felton goes in the far corner to get the puck. Back behind the net for Baroni. She'll stop in reverse directions. Out she comes. Getting pestered. Oh no, that's icing. <laughs> 
Face off to the left of Molly Jeffrey. Only 20 seconds left in the penalty. South St. Paul's got to push it up the ice pretty quick in order to take advantage of this. Which they do. For a short time they did. Two seconds, one second, and that does it for the power play for the Packers. So South St. Paul unable to capitalize early in the second period on a power play. Now they'll have to score the old fashioned way, five on five hockey. Good moves by Sid Thompson. Brings the puck in, she's right in the slot. Oh, there's, there's a rebound, where's the rebound? Get the, oh! Rebound sitting right on the doorstep in the crease and they couldn't find it. Good job by Sid Thompson. Gets right into the slot, almost by the hash marks. Threw a shot on goalie, giving up a lot of rebounds surprisingly. Here comes Liberty Felton. She's right at the faceoff dot, fires one, the goalie sees it, but Libby's there to get, try to scoop up a rebound. Now Dibsetter's fighting for the puck. Woodbury comes out with it. So St. Paul gets it out of the zone. Now they gotta put some forecheck pressure on. Good job by Dibsetter, I like to see that, being aggressive. Go get it, ladies. Go get it. Now we've got offsides. Got another, looks like Woodbury player coming in to join in probably at the end of the period. Has an A on her jersey. I don't can't believe there's an assistant JV captain. I suppose maybe it's possible, but if you're assistant captain on varsity, I can't imagine you'd be coming down to play in the JV game. There's a nice shot by Jeffrey getting to that loose puck. Lori, when you have a sec, come here. Now Woodbury with an odd man rush. We got Banker back on D. There's a shot up high. I saw it. I, I, I saw it, yeah. Okay, sorry, took a break. I hopefully I left the camera in a place you could see it. Nice move by Thompson. Gets it across the blue line. There's a shot by Maurer. Couldn't quite get all of it. Felton grabs it, throws it in deep. Now South St. Paul go to work. Veroni has it out front. Maintains puck control. Tried to break into the net. Felton tried to chip it back out of the zone. 
747 remaining in this period. Liberty Felton will take the puck behind the net, reverses direction, up to the wing. Puck comes out of the zone. Simons is gonna skate over in front of the scorer's table. Loses an edge. Whoa, that, that's a penalty. She brought her shoulder up. Thompson, I think that was Sid Thompson. Yeah, she got hit. That should have been a penalty. Brought the elbow up a little high right in front of the ref, no call. Jeffrey has it. Jeffrey delivers a little cross check of her own. That should have been called penalty, wasn't. Well, at least they're consistent not calling this stuff. I guess what's good for the goose. Banker has it, throws it across the ice for Erickson. Erickson gets it to Jeffrey. Jeffrey tosses it in. Erickson and Jeffrey are going off for a line change. That's going to leave a little bit of an opportunity here for Woodbury, but Banker does a great job pinning it in at the blue line. Come on, give her some help. Kegley comes in to help. Good job, Maddie. Now Dibsetters look thinking of joining in. And Jeffrey went down to make the save on that breakaway and then she couldn't get back up in time and we didn't have, it looked like a strong back checker and they got the rebound and threw it in top shelf. So that's the third goal for Woodbury. Flies over the boards. Dave. All right, sorry about that, took a break. We're gonna get a face off to the left of Molly Jeffrey. Nice save by Molly Jeffrey, that was huge. Either hit her blocker or stick. Jeffrey makes another big save. Good job by Maddie Kegley, getting it out of the zone. Packer JV team playing actually very well right now against a lot of Woodbury's varsity players, or several of them. That shot goes wide. I think Molly Jeffrey got a piece of it. We got 4.48 remaining in this second period, a 3-0 Woodbury lead. There's a point blank shot. Jeffrey falls. Falls down on it, a player crashes into her. Sorry, it's cold in here, I got the sniffles. So good job by South St. Paul. Actually, we're getting some scoring opportunities. I like how aggressive these players are playing. They're not giving up. Puck comes out of the zone, good work. Here come the Packers. Nice move by Erickson. Erickson gets through the defense. She gets taken down, no call. I don't know how you don't call that. For Pete's sake. Try to wrap around by Erickson, good job. There's a rebound out front. Nobody could get their stick on it from South St. Paul. 
Felton comes up, she'll chip it in the corner. For Pete's sake, that should have been an obvious penalty call. I don't know who Pete is, but for his sake, that should have been one. So St. Paul picks up the loose puck. Good job, Packers. Sid Thompson tries to split the D, gets broken up. South St. Paul doing a line change. It was two on five there for a while. Felton, good job of getting the puck and throwing it down deep. Tough angle shot. Oh, there it is. Oh, almost got behind. Oh, oh and then Baroni tried to go top shelf and sends it over the top of the net. And that sent the length of the ice, so we'll stay right here. Good work by the Packers. Another good couple scoring opportunities. And they'll bring it all the way back down for a face-off to the left of the Royal goaltender. Baroni on the draw. Good job keeping it in by Baroni and Banker. A little toss to the net. Not enough on it. Oh no, that wasn't Banker, that was Kennedy over there. Now a breakaway here for Woodbury. And there's a breakaway goal for Woodbury. So a misplay of the puck by South St. Paul cost him another goal. That'll be the fourth goal for Woodbury. That's all right, ladies. Keep working, keep working. So they, they announced What's up, bud? Well, I want to say something, but I won't. Let's go, Pat!
anyhow. So that was a hat trick for one of their leading scorers on varsity. That's all right, South St. Paul still battling, playing well. Keep playing hard, ladies. It's 6-0 in favor of Woodbury. Hmm? No, but it'll be uploaded. So, I can put it down if you wanna. South St. Paul trying to get out of the zone. Good job by Kegley. Dibsetter doing a good job at the point. Baroni overskating the puck just a bit. Nice pass up ahead to Kegley. Kegley's got it on the backhand. Dibsetter, oh, I guess we brought that in offside. They're gonna do ice after this period. Now I'm gonna have to go check the varsity game, see where they're at. Do you wanna? You want to run smoke for me over there? You want to sit I'll set it all up. I'll show you how to do it. You want to sit there as they're coming out? Yep. And then when you're done, unplug it and lift it up and out. Is it on the ice? No. It's next to it, but I take it off because it's where people come out of the, the doors and I don't want them stepping on it. I'll show you. If you, want, if you don't want to do it, I'll have to... I'll do it. I'll then that means you have to sit up there and film until I get back. What do you want to do? I can film. Okay. Unless you really want me to do it. Doesn't matter. And that's going to do it for the second period. So South St. Paul finds themselves down 6-0 to the Woodbury Varsity team in the JV third place game. So we're going to see the Zamboni. We'll see you at the start of the third. <laughs> 